Hey, this is a follow-up to some of the text I put in the last video about modifying odds and cool things you could do with the dice pool when you're counting for successes. So the first way to change the odds is to change the number of dice. For example, as your character gets stronger, they're gonna get more dice into the pool. If they put themselves in a negative situation, the pool might get smaller. That's a good visual and tactile way to show how good your odds are in the moment. The second way to modify the odds is to change the number of successes you need to pass the check. Many games are just going to use one, but once you move into something, let's say like three, now you can do really cool stuff like, oh, if you get two, you're gonna succeed, but at a cost. The third way is to actually change the target number, but it's usually not recommended because you're just adding plus and minus modifiers to the roll, which is kind of the antithesis of the success pool mechanic itself. Another cool thing I wanna share that's not explicitly to success counting is the fact that once you have a dice pool, you could start to tell a story with it. For example, you could have a fire sorcerer that when they roll three fives, the spell comes out extra quick, or when they roll a full house, it lights the enemy on fire. So hopefully that explains a little bit why success counting is my favorite dice mechanic. Hopefully you found this helpful and uh, see you next time.